Hello guys and you're welcome. So in our last lesson we saw how we could use the uh, install the pi installer using pip install pi installer. Now uh, if you uh, type in pip pi installer and that's not actually uh, working you might actually need to set your uh, python program to check if you've actually set the path to uh, python so you can actually use pip and to do that let's just quickly uh, i'll just show you how you can do that so if i go to my add and remove programs i'm just going to look for a uh, python and my plan here is just to uh, edit python so i'm just going to search the list for uh, python So sorry guys, this is just taking a little while. So, but if you have Python installed and you've been using PIP, that's not a uh, uh, problem. So good, this is actually uh, loaded. I could simply just search for that. <laughs> it'll probably be, uh, it'll probably be uh, faster than uh, looking for it through here. And there we have it. So if I click on my Python 3.7 and I click on modify, it should bring up a, a pop-up window. And once that window opens up, we'll just click to add a path to uh, PIP. All right, so now that the setup has opened up, let's just go and click on modify and make sure you've checked this uh, PIP, which will actually install PIP so that I can download other Python packages. So uh, that's how you can do that. So let me just go ahead and cancel because I don't want to uh, modify anything. So the first thing you're also going to do is to make sure that you have a uh, nice location for your file. So I've set up mine in my uh, user file. So if I go to drive C and I go to my users and I go to my uh, program name, I have a folder called Python projects, Python apps. And within that Python apps, I've just passed in the script, our final script for our password generator program. And I've also included the icon and the office logo. This is going to uh, simply allow these to be run when this program is installed. Now, if you want to get to the uh, path where this file is, we can just click this path to get us to the folder. A shortcut way of doing that is to type the windows and the uh, R key just to run the command. And we could just drag this folder right here. So let's just uh, bring up our run folder and we can left click and drag this folder called Python apps right here. And we'll just copy this path like that. So we're going to be needing that. So we want to change our directory. So I'm just going to say CD for change directory and I'll just paste it right here. So now we're in this uh, directory folder. So what I'm going to do right now is to call the pi installer script. So I'm just going to say pi installer and I'll just raise in from flags. I'm just going to say one file and I don't want this to open up any console window. So I'm gonna just put a flag slash dash W and then we'll call in the name of our program and don't forget to add the dot PY. So I'm just gonna say password generator dot PY. So that's gonna be pi installer with our double dashes with say one file because we want this to be in one file dash w for a flag which means i don't want a, a console window to pop up and the name of that program the py and once we've done that we'll just press the return key now depending on how fast your system is this might actually take a little while so we'll just go ahead and wait for it to actually finish compiling our files and uh, building the appropriate files that is going to use and it's also going to build our bin files so that we can actually send them somewhere else so anyone can install all right so once it's done it should tell you that you know building exe from this is completed successfully another thing you need to do is when you run your command file let me just go ahead and uh, show you that when i say uh, cmd when you right click you might actually want to run as administrator so you can have the uh, command line uh, privileges so now that we've done that we'll just go ahead and close this file and navigate to the folder Python apps and open it and see what we have here. So now we have this uh, spec file, which is going to just check the system specification. And we also have this uh, distribution file. So let's just open this distribution file and copy this application. Now you can see that as an application file. 
So let's just get back here and drop it right here outside. Now the reason why I'm dropping it right here is because I have these few uh, dependencies of this key and this, uh, this icon file and then this uh, office logo right here. So with that done, we can just go ahead and delete the distribution file and we can also delete the uh, spec. So now that we have that, let's just right click this with the uh, small Python logo and run as administrator. And this will pop up our uh, program right here. So this is our program running. Now notice we didn't need to actually run Python for this program to run. And this is actually an application file. If we click on the properties of the file, we can actually see that it's an actually .exe file, which is an execu uh, executable file. And you also notice it actually brought the uh, Python logo, right? So that's uh, actually uh, cool. So we have our logo right here. It's actually showing us the logo for that program. And if we go ahead and test it and click on generate and we exit, we can see that it has created that folder for us. And we can see the passwords we just generated right now, which means this app is uh, working. So if you want to send this to someone and to create an executable installation file, that's where NSIS is actually going to uh, come up. So in our next lesson, we're going to be using NSIS to compile this into an executable file such that we can send it to someone and install that file on our local system. Notice that this uh, password generator.exe isn't installed, it's just going to be a run because it's an executable file. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.